Okay, can you tell me your name, please? Soraya Elena Perez. And spell it for us. S-O-R-A-Y-A hyphen E-L-E-N-A, last name P-E-R-E-Z. And where do you live? Uh, Okupu Street in Leilani Estates. And you have a story from Hurricane Izzel? Um, I was uh, downstairs um, at the house that we're renting uh, in Leilani. Um, prepared for the hurricane. Um, our power was out um, and we heard um, a sound like an explosion <clears throat> and then um, started smelling um, sulfur smell. Um, and our landlord told us that um, it was possible that the geothermal had vented again, um, that they were venting toxic gases and to stay inside. Um, <clears throat> And I was um, pretty panicked because it was my first experience being in a hurricane that was supposed to be hitting. Um, and now added to that was some sort of unknown to me, to unknown toxic gas being released from a geothermal plant. Um, so I had no idea at that time and for hours um, what gas was being released, what effect, if I was about to die. Um, or if I was just gonna be sick, if I was gonna be long-term sick, or or what was going on. Um, it was a really horrible experience. Um, and it felt very betrayed um, <clears throat> and vulnerable and helpless. Um, so later on, I think I checked my email and, and got an email um, from the Punapono Alliance saying that um, there had been a vent, that it was hydrogen sulfide that had been released, um, and that um, the civil defense said to evacuate if you're feeling symptoms. Um, but there are two things wrong with that. One is if you're feeling symptoms, evacuate. Like, <laughs> You have to stay and breathe the toxicity until you're feeling symptoms and then evacuate. The other thing is, evacuate during a hurricane? <laughs> is that possible? Um, <clears throat> and the place they were saying to evacuate to is the Pahoa Community Center, and that's not that far from Leilani, and is that even really safe from the toxicity either? Um, it was just all very distressing. Um, I'm not experiencing major symptoms or, of any kind that I'm aware of, but I did research um, just a little bit online hydrogen sulfide exposure and it said that symptoms such as um, pulmonary edema um, can take 72 hours to um, surface. Um, and so just the idea that I could be experiencing adverse health effects that um, that I don't understand or I'm not aware of, um, that I have no idea how to go about mm, caring for myself in this situation. So should I go to a clinic? Should I go to urgent care? Should I go to the emergency room? What test am I supposed to ask for? I found online that there's some tests for um, like arterial blood gas test. I don't know, am I supposed to go somewhere and ask for this test? Um, I just wanna know um, if, I'm okay. <laughs>